the view from down below, engine 802, drafted out of the river, 30 feet, six inch hard sleeve. He has a barrel strainer on the end. They have it tied up with a rope. Uh, pretty significant lift, uh, but he's making it happen. He's filling through five inch hose, running over to a manifold, and then it runs into the tanker at that point. So the tanker is full. The engine driver uh, sees that it's full. They'll shut down at the manifold. He opens up a nozzle, which is connected to one of his discharges as his recirculating line. So he'll just continue to recirculate water until the next tanker comes in. That way he doesn't lose his draft. Uh, fill it at a rate of almost a thousand gallons per minute, even overcoming the lift that's here. These guys are in the process of trying to build this out a little bit more so that they have a secondary site set up so they could have two tankers hooked up at the same time and when the one's full they could switch right over and start filling the second one without any delay. But right now they have to wait for the first one to get out of the way, the second one to get in position and get rehooked until they can start filling it.